for me, Dr. Spencer is an unsung hero just due to how much he gives to others. One of the examples I can tell you is that he was helping us set up a eye hospital in a rural part of Nepal. And while he was doing that, he had to live in a tent and shower with a hemp pump on the side of the road. And he was so dedicated to this and so um, single-minded in doing this and training the only ophthalmologist because he really wants to reach those that are most unreachable and provide them with eye care. When I was very young, it, it was obvious that, I, that I'm privileged being a white man or a boy at the time in the West. And I always had the idea that I wanted to give back. And so working in developing countries was something that I'd, I'd always wanted to do. I got interested in ophthalmology, obviously, in, in medical school. The eye was beautiful to look at. Doing surgery, you could actually restore sight to someone who'd lost their sight, and that becomes very addictive. I did an eye camp in the foothills of Mount Everest. It was quite remote. We had to actually trek into the, to the eye camp. And one of the people I operated on was a, a woman who had been blind for two years. Her youngest child looked to be a little over a year old, and of course she had never seen him. So when I saw her afterwards holding her, her little boy, I still get choked up when I think about it. The smile on her face just lit up, seemed to light up the world. If you restore a sight to a, a person who's blind, you're not just bringing that person back into the economy, you're also bringing back the people who had to support that person. So it has considerable uh, economic as well as social impact to restore sight. When I come home, people say, how many surgeries did you, did you do? And I tell them that I, I measure my success by how many surgeries I'm, are being done after I leave, not by how many that I do. At home, if I don't operate on someone, someone down the block will do it. Whereas people that I operate on or people whom I teach overseas, those are uh, serving people who otherwise are not going to get care. And I would tell someone who's interested in doing that uh, to do it. I would warn them that it's addictive and that there are significant opportunity costs, but they won't find anything I don't think that's more satisfying or rewarding.